Let us continue playing Advance War 2 Black Hole Rising. When we last left off, we had three missions left to go in the Blue Moon side of the campaign. And we're going to go to this one. Here on Bard's Colin, can you hold till reinforcements arrive? Colin, you're in command now. Grit and I are returning to headquarters to plan our continued strategy. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. I'll guard these properties for the next 14 days. Hmm. No need to worry. According to our intel division, there's no chance of the enemy striking here. You're 100% safe, which is why there's a mission going on. <laughs> Carry on. But our intel division ain't the most reliable bunch of fellas. Do your best, son. We'll be back to you in 14 days. I want to sit down, sir. I'm Blue Moon CEO, after all. Commander Colin! Yes? It's an attack! The Black Hole Army's here! What? Just like that? Stay calm, stay calm. Must not panic. I must be strong. Okay, tighten the defenses. Two week test. Hello, is anyone home? Looks deserted. Guess I'll just capture everything. Not so fast. These properties are under the, my protection. Just you? Talk about easy. Uh, reinforcements are on their way. Yeah, like in 14 days, right? I'll capture everything by then. Come on, troops, fire at will. Keep strong, everyone. Just at the headquarters for 14 days. So. Let's just have a look at the principal, um, what advantage she actually has at this point in the game. Before we start anything, she has the ability to buy rockets. We can buy recons. In two turns, she's going to have enough for mid-tanks. Or bombers. We have no aerial support. Only two properties we can build from. But, there is a bottleneck here. We're going to have to protect that bottleneck with our lives, so we are probably going to go heavy on the artillery. But for now, we need to grab these extra properties. So immediately, Battlecopter and 4 Infantry. Now, Colin, we'll be able to go for rockets quite early, but... At this point, we're gonna, we want to be massively on the defences, and we are going to keep going with infantry for at least a little bit. Because we always have infantry rush, though they can try and get around us. Getting the power requirement here is going to be awkward. You see, they've already now gone to tanks and bombs. Good news is we can match tanks and bombs. And if we own these two properties, then we'll be able to heal from these spots as well. And the reason I bought a mech was because the mech can at least hurt tanks. So it's worth having a couple of those around. Meanwhile, I think we want to save for a rocket here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six properties at the moment. So that'll be an extra 6,000, takes me to 3,200. Uh, sorry, not 3,200. That'll take me to 1,300 to... So I can buy one more infantry and have a rocket for next turn. And I want a rocket room reserve. Rockets are going to be more helpful than mid-tanks. Especially if I can do infantry meat shields. And we've got a few turns before they'll turn up. 12 more days to hold. But I imagine they're going to get a battlecopters and fighters soon enough, which means we're going to want some anti-air. If only to discourage things. Okay, mid-tanks bought, and they are on the way. Alright, grab that, because that's easy enough to be grabbed. You move down. Move down, you capture. Okay, so we're now at the point where we can buy... One, two, three, four, five... So you could buy a lot of infantry and just start spamming. It's very much a possible strategy here. But we want to kill things as well, and we don't want to take too many casualties. So, what I'm going to do, actually, rather than what I said, I'm probably going to go with the multi-artillery route here. Or do I go a tank? I'm going to go artillery tank at this point. Because I think we can hold that ground off, especially if we grab that second city before they do any significant attacks on us. I just want to keep enough in reserve in case they do buy... As soon as I see them buy a Battlecopter or a Bomber, then we want to buy anti-airs and keep them safe. Might even go Missile and just surround them with infantry. A Missile surround... Uh, here we go. So they now have their first in-range move. 
So the attack begins. So based on that, they're probably going to knock this inventory. If I go forward and capture, that kind of forces him to have to go for it. Obviously I've got the range here. If I hold there, I can then use that. I can then use the tank as well to somewhat cover. I'll even have that as a backup plan. Tank to respond. Okay, that'll do. I think I am going to buy some missiles. I might regret that a little later, but I think that's not a bad purchase right now. Alright, let's see what she denies me at this point. The, the chance of the missiles actually getting a lot of stuff on that uh, battlecopter or any bombers they send is minimal, but we still want to have that chance. Alright, so he's down to four. We're probably not capturing there, but... It's not a guaranteed thing. Yeah, they've bought rockets as well. Okay. See if we can't keep some units alive. You get battered, and then you get bruised. The only thing to work out at this point... Yes, okay, this could work nicely. So that anti-air is almost certainly going to wipe out that inventory if we keep it there, but keeping it there is a blocking piece. So that's the only thing currently in range of attacks on any of our units is this anti-air. So we prepare up for this. The next thing we want to do is buy another artillery. If you closer, because that will cover any um, any uh, battlecopter advance. It's completely covered off by infantry. And we're going to let him take that. What I'm now going to consider doing is saving up for mid-tanks. Or a mid... Oh, darn it, I didn't mean to buy an extra infantry. Fine, doesn't matter. I meant to press B, accidentally bought the infantry. It could have bought worse things, in all honesty. Okay, so there we go. We knew that would happen. So I'll now move tank into the city area, then attack with the... Because um... that battlecopter is still out of range, but we're... it's going to lose itself on the strike anyway. There are more of them on inbound. Okay. Start with this. Tank in city. That prevents her from getting an attack bonus, which is other which is the other slightly important thing here. Keeps our mid-tank secure. Mid-tank will get attacked by uh, the battlecopter. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't. And if it does, it's in range. The only down on this would be if they went there. And actually, having that extra infantry unit does allow me to shuffle. Battlecopter cannot get around to the back. And I'm allowed to then put another one of you in there. So that's not a bad little defensive um, shell we got building up at the moment. And I've even got a mid-tank available if I want it. If they attack with a Battlecopter, I'm going to kill it. They haven't got any bombers yet. It might, though, be the time for anti-air. So I'll be able to afford two of the things. Yeah. Double anti-air. That's, that's a more sensible move for me, because they've got mostly infantry on the advance at the moment. They're not going to get into range. It's going to be the tanks. But we got artillery to deal with them. Yeah, I figured it was something like that. So we had artillery to deal with them, but that'll go back and repair next turn. And I've waited, will die. And in comes more attack. So, so now we've got the, that rocket to worry about. Takes the eighth day, just over half day. Just gotta stay strong. I will hold off for 14 days. So 
So either way, we have that dealt with. So I'm going to actually attack with the rockets. So that's now going to start repairing. I need to put you into there, because that will cover off somewhat. They are out of rocket range. Is it worth attacking? I can't actually counterattack at this point, but I know they don't attack with this. So we'll have rocket over the top, followed by that. So I think what I'm thinking here... Keep that mech unit covered. What can you attack me with? You can attack me with this. You can also start attacking with the infantry as of next turn. Battlecopter coming in, Neo tank coming in. I need a rocket subs. I need something to deal with rockets soon. Artillery are good, but they're not going to be able to deal with it. So I'll need my own rocket. So I gain 9,000 a turn. So as long as I have 3,000 in reserve, I can buy another. So I'm going to buy another artillery here. We go with range. Range is our friend at this point, I have an odd feeling. End turn. Okay, they went for the unit they can actually do some significant damage to. I might have to sacrifice that guy. The only downside is he's blocking the, the missiles, which I'd like at the moment. And now we're into that compressed area. So at this point we're going to start losing people if we don't get around and deal with this. And in theory we can... So he's not quite fully up to damage, but it could be done. Alright, start with let's deal with the tank, because the tank is one of the bigger things we've got to worry about. So tank down to four. One, two. Given the range, that doesn't actually protect us an awful lot, but it does provide cover in case we lose that city. So that's okay. You're out of range of most things, and I can't really do a lot about that anyway. I need to keep you there in case the um, Battlecopter decides to go flying that way, which it might. Because that's the one space the rocket can't actually hit it, if they go there. Alright. If I make this attack... No, actually, what I should do... I should attack... You... I'm making some assumptions here. This is probably not the best way to do this. The anti-air can move six and attack, so it can hit the it can hit the bomber. Either of these two can, but it would have to be the back one for safety. So I could go and attack there. That would cause the battle cops to have. To, yeah, this is the best play. I deny that. I deny lash a first strike. I deny lash um, the city. Although she could just swap right around and do that anyway. Next up, I may attack here. We have a monetary boost, and the monetary boost might be worth going for at this point over the um, over saving the superpower. Now, good thing is that's also out of that's range, and since it's an anti-air, it's one of the things that the battlecopter can't really do a lot about. Unfortunately, it's not doing as much damage as we'd like. I kind of have to hit it this turn, though. I have to hit it this turn, really. Oh, difficulties. Okay, power activate in any case. Gold rush, which will give us up to a... Ching! 18,000 money. So we got some spare cash this turn. Do we get a power boost as well? I hope we do. No, but we're going to fire at them anyway. Got to weaken these if we can. Half strength. So not quite at critical levels, but enough to annoy us. Next up. See, that's out of range of everything. This is the... They're going to start breaking through this turn, I feel. 
So I've got infantry cover. Okay, that I agree with. This can't hit anything yet and is probably fine where it is. We can buy our own Neo tank. We can also buy a rocket. Which is the best plan for us at this stage of the game? We probably need to prepare counterattacks, so I'm gonna go Neo tank here. What else could I do? I could go massively on the offensive and start attacking some of these infantry. Which actually doesn't seem like such a bad plan. So I'm thinking defensive here a lot, but I should really try and weaken what they've got coming at me now. I'm going to struggle later, but that might just help me. You need to stay there in order to hold off the uh, battlecopter. And hopefully one of our two anti airs will still be in a condition to fight back after this. Which may not be true. Because I think I sacrificed that one doing that. I knew that wasn't such a good idea. Pin, them, pin both their anti their ranged units in position though for a turn. And they went for the rockets anyway. Uh, good news is I've got two two ranged attackers here, and I don't think they're going to quite be able to get to my missile unit. Downside is I don't think anything else can now. Certainly nothing that can deal with that battlecopter. Ah, yeah, they blocked... This is now... They've now blocked in those two anti-airs. If I hadn't have attacked, I'd have been able to use them here. Okay. So we'll start with the weakened one, because that should wipe you out. Then I need to wipe out that infantry unit so I can use my anti-air backs to deal with a battlecopter. After that, we'll see what we can do. Actually, one of the things I can do is attack that Neo tank, but... Forty-eight. Twenty-seven. So arguably that's enough. Well, since I'm not going to be moving you anyway... Actually, I am going to be moving you. What am I thinking? I am going to be moving you to... Yeah, I will be moving you there. Oh, no, I've got my own one. Ah! This is where it now gets a bit tricky. So I do want to first strike there. But if I'm going to first strike, I might as well weaken. But I do need to clear this guy out. Or at the very least, do some damage to other things. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on, okay. So, whatever happens, that's an okay, no, that's not an okay move. Let's move you out of the way. So a fully strengthened up infantry unit can attack and not lay down the two. That means I can deal with it with the weakened anti-air without moving. Yeah, no, this works. Trust me. I, I, got, I got the right way around with this, I think. So anti-air, weakened anti-air kills that infantry off. Now there's nothing stopping this one from going up and saying, Hello! Boom! And we've remade our defensive wall. Next up, we attack, we go and... throw an artillery at that Neo tank. And it would be really nice if we owned that city, because I want my Neo tank to basically sit there now. Um, do I want to move another guy forward? I think I might actually want to move my artillery to there. It's a thin block, but that artillery being much closer will help me against their other units, because that mid that Neo tank's good, but it's not going to stay up there forever. What else have they got on the... they got a bomber, finally! So I've got that to worry about next turn, and that can attack basically anywhere. So I'm only going to move you back. Meantime, though, let's deal with a rocket. So the best thing that the, artil the other artillery lash has got can destroy is this, which isn't the end of the world for us, I don't think. 
Next, I'm going to pick up another anti-air, I think. And a spare inventory. Don't have anything that flies right now, so I'll keep my guy back there for now. And see what they do. Lash goes for superpower, so she's now got a major attack boost, but most of the things she's got in range, I don't think this is actually going to be all that critical to me. The counterattacks will be annoying, but we should still be able to destroy that Neo tank this turn. Yes, you've become richer, but you only have four you only have four days after this. So there are five attacks to take my headquarters. So I think it's the headquarters is safe, just how well I can win now that matters. Figured that one. That's what you have when you have a flimsy defense, and that is unfortunately us losing a lot of our counter attacking force near. But, not all of it. Okay, more money. Okay, 1500. 1500 is an okay score. We can live with 1500. Right, next up, attack. Thankfully, it's only counted as being in a woods effectively, so we can destroy this. And I really do not want to move the Neo Tank from where it is. The Neo Tank is in a great position as long as it doesn't have. As long as Lash doesn't have artillery primed, that's fine. Is the bomber. Yeah, the bomber's definitely in range. What am I talking about? no point in running baseline infantry down there anymore. Um, yeah, and with six defense, even the anti-airs aren't really going to make much difference. So what target would this go for? It would definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, go for the Neo, focus for the Neo tank, probably destroying it. The good news is, if it does, I can counterattack with the rockets and probably kill it. So what I need to do at this point, really, is just block this off as much as is humanly possible. If they go the other way though, what can they hurt? They can hurt you and then suddenly I wouldn't be able to rocket them. So in order to prevent that... Okay, um, I'm hoping we can deal with that. I'm then going to build a rocket. Rocket will be in position as of the next turn, and let's buy ourselves a mech unit just on the off chance we get a chance to attack something, use them with it. Four attacks left to go from Lash, this being the first. That seems like a really, really odd choice, and I'm now re seriously regretting not moving the... I, I attempted to move my missile back a space. Mid-tank goes to repair. So it'll be back. They won't be, and now unfortunately this infantry is attacking my uh, artillery. The good news is that mid-tank really cannot do a lot from there. And if infantry are attacking the artillery for the next four turns, I'm quite happy to have that happen. That's the downer. Okay. What damage can you do? Enough. There are battlecopters inbound, but I think that rocket unit is now effectively a blocker. So, destroy the bomber because otherwise it will bother us later. Then we debate. Because I'd really like to go and hurt that artillery before it does some severe damage to us. But I can probably do some severe damage to the mid-tank, which would do more damage. But let's see how effective our attacks are. Yeah, I can wipe it out. And then hope, then we'll see where we are, where to stand with other attacks. But having used both of them up, I don't actually have anything left, do I? That though is not a bad place, we'll go there. 
you're going to move up, and then going to block, move there. Gives us a lot more cover. Nick moves down, and I think we use our valiant neo tank to destroy the mid tank. Now Nash's neo tank may return, but we'll, I think we can cope if it does. We then want to build a tank, and I'm going to build ourselves a reconnaissance. No, actually, I'm not going to save the money on a reconnaissance unit. Just so we got something that can counterattack in case we lose things here. But I think we've got enough defense to hold this now. Easily. What she's got coming in does not look particularly strong. This is going to hurt. We knew it was, though. Six. Let's see, she's he's staying back. She's wary. And she's not done any enough damage, really. And this block is a lot weaker. She didn't even attack here. Huzzah, we'll have some more money. Taking out expensive units allows us to buy more expensive stuff. With all that money saved, we're up to 1900 again. So. Let's see how much damage we can do. We want to wipe out the tank unit. No, actually, we don't want to wipe out the tank unit. We want to wipe out this infantry unit first. And then we'll rush around with um, something that can do a bit of damage. So. Yeah, that's all you can shoot at, so you might as well just deal with that as well. Weaken some infantry, cause them to fall back. Yeah, see, I'd like to hurt that. In fact, I should still be able to. So yeah, we attack the free strength infantry. We send Mineo tank over to do some severe damage back to the um, artillery. This unfortunately is probably going to sacrifice our Neo tank in the process because it's now no longer as well protected. Yeah, overall that probably wasn't worth it. In fact, it definitely wasn't worth it. It'd be a different matter if I could actually get close enough to do any significant damage with um, other things, but... Well, we started now, so we might as well continue. Because I'll just send that rocket up now to cover the um, other guy off. Ah. But if they don't move the rocket, we got got um, other things to come in and really hurt them up, so we got that's going for us as well. Alright, next up... And that's an interesting sideways plan. I approve of interesting sideways plans. Because now they have to go sideways in order to deal with things. It's always good to try and go on the offensive if you can, and we're going to. Right, that battlecopter now is almost certainly going to try and wipe out that. Which means we get the cut the attack on there. We don't have it. Actually, I do have infantry that can cover positions. Got nothing in direct line of attack. I'm going to build myself another neo tank. Because why not? Okay, so Lash is on first power. She'll probably have a super power for her in last turn, but she can't take in one turn, so victory is ours. It's just a case of how well can I hold this off. Yeah, they did rocket the anti-air. Interesting choice. But, considering we took out, what did we take out, 64,000? I think we actually earned our money back with that anti-air, so that's not such a bad loss in terms of gains and losses. And we forced them to have to think about some other things. Battlecopter moves in, does not kill the um, infantry because it's a fairly bad matchup, actually. I mean, sure, they do damage, but it's not a good matchup. And a free-strength infantry does nothing. And I'm quite happy to keep them there for the game. I'm amazed that the Neo Tank did not get attacked during all that. Unfortunately, the Neo Tank doesn't have the strength to counter at this point. You're out of position. I only have one anti. Oh, yeah, of course I only have one anti. Yeah, that's. Um... It's actually a thing now. So, okay, that's down to one. You can try and kill it with this. So, I'm going to. Good work. And all I'm doing, and I know this is all I'm doing, all I'm doing is just triggering extra points here. Uh, right. 
They only have one unit in range of most of my artilleries at this point. It's rather disappointing. Alright, so they're weakened. You attack there. I think I'd rather almost just go back and try and sit this out, because they only got one real attack at this point. I put a new Neo tank on there. And this would allow me to keep some points for, um, yeah, we're doing that. This will allow us to keep a few points in case of um, techniques for technique scores. I don't need to do a lot of damage. I've done a lot of damage on last turn. Just gonna buy tank, recon, infantry, infantry. Move you back to there. Enter. Okay. What can you do on your last day, Lash? You did not get your superpower. That's even better. Because <laughs> you would have got a bit of an attack bonus here. We already know you can't do enough damage with a single artillery. And just depends now what else you got in range, which is very, very little. Well, this may not get me an S rank. In fact, it, it probably will get me an S rank. Hey, you okay, son? Chris. T time's up. Oh, I'll gain now more casualties. Time to despair. Toodles. Nice work, son. Well, now they get superior force like that, I mean. Commander Rich? Does this mean I'm worthy of being his commanding officer now? What are you talking about? You're a grade A certified top of the line CO, son. Man, you can take that to the bank. Yes, sir. Grade E. <laughs> no, that still keeps us in S rank. We lose some points in technique because we did sacrifice a lot of units, but you know what? This is the sort of mission you have to do that on, I think. So, huzzah. Well, it's obvious proof they're getting harder. We're no longer getting 300s for everything, but now we've got missions we're actually having to think about. This is the fun part of the game. So next time, hopefully another fun mission. This one will be Grit's mission against three cannons, apparently. So until then, 